Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to those of you that are new here. I've had a couple new subscribers recently so I just want to say hello. So for today's video we are going to be doing this look right here. This is my go-to full beat summertime tutorial makeup. I don't even actually that didn't even make any sense. This is my go-to summertime full beat makeup look. I do this when I know I'm going to be wearing my makeup for a long time or I know I'm going to be outside and it's hot and it's humid and I don't want my makeup to sweat off. This is how I do it. If I know I'm going to be wearing my makeup for several hours, this is how I do it. And if I just want my makeup to look good, this is how I do it. So yeah, I'm not really going to talk too much because I tend to do that in the actual video so let's just go ahead and get started with this tutorial so I have no makeup on right now so I'm just gonna go ahead and tie up my hair so we can go ahead and get started my skin has actually been doing pretty good for the most part and of course I wake up today and I have like this breakout right here I have like a little another one on my nose but other than that it's at a pretty good place. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face. What I've been loving lately is going in with like an oil first and then another primer. And today I'm gonna be using the, the Beauty Bakery face oil. So I'm just gonna put this on just to give my skin just a little bit more hydration because in the summertime I do wear more powders just because I want the makeup to stay on all day. I want it to last. I don't want it dripping from my face. The powders just have like the longest longevity. It's just gonna make our skin look more poreless and make sure our makeup stays on all day long. So I like to make sure I have enough moisture in my skin before so that when I do apply the powders, it doesn't look cakey or dry or anything like that. So that's a nice little tip. Now for the actual primer, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Primer. I have been loving this stuff. I do like two pumps and I work it into my skin. I don't work it all the way in. I just kind of leave it sitting on my skin a little bit just so that my foundation has something to grab onto. So I don't want to blend it in too much. I just want it to kind of sit on the surface of my skin. So my foundation has something to like adhere to. So I, you guys already know this step, but I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick. And I'm just applying this into the places that I want just a little bit more coverage. Like always, like my chin area. Then going in with Morphe 2 Foundation. This has been a uh, love of mine this summer. So I just i just been loving it. Now I'm just going to go ahead and spray my brush with a dewy setting spray. I always do this stuff in the summertime because I feel like it just adds, again, just a little bit more moisture, a little bit more sheen to the skin. And I use the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. And honestly, any setting spray will work, but one that's like a luminous one is even better. And I just take these drops and put it right onto my brush. I do a couple. Start applying it. You guys, I really love this foundation. It is just so beautiful for the summertime i mean in general it's beautiful but it's just so perfect in the summertime because it's so lightweight it has such good coverage and it really just lasts really really well this has been my go-to foundation all summer long oh god my my tan is like leaving so i have to like take it down a little further because i've been obsessed with this foundation so for concealer i'm going to be using the kosas concealer this is in the shade 3.5 it's a very hydrating concealer and that's why i like it in the summertime i like really like lightweight uh, hydrating products uh, and then I just go in with a ton of powder on top of it just to set it make sure it doesn't go anywhere but I find that using like a hydrating cream product and then setting it with a powder just gets me the longest wear for my makeup it just keeps it looking good the whole day so it'll look good from the moment i apply it to the moment i take it off i know some people like you think like you want your makeup to stay on all day so you're gonna go for like a super like quick drying long lasting concealer but i always like to opt out for a good creamy like hydrating concealer that might not necessarily have the longest like 
staying powder but putting that powder on top of it really is what just like locks it in and make sure it doesn't go anywhere while still looking beautiful and amazing all day long you know what i mean like it won't get cakey because it's so hydrating it's gonna keep giving your skin that moisture and it's just gonna look so natural as opposed to having a like mac pro long wear where you know it's gonna stay on but it's not necessarily gonna look as good as it does the whole time you know what I mean and I always like to do my under eyes separate than the rest of my face like from my forehead and my chin so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now and a little bit on my nose as well and you guys this routine is really really good if you want your makeup to stay on all day even if you're not in like the summertime and you're not gonna be in the heat and you're not gonna like be sweating or anything this is a really good routine for just like if you know you have to wear your makeup for a long time this is definitely going to stay and it's gonna look just as good for however many hours that you're gonna have it on so i'm gonna be using a cream bronzer today but just to lay out a nice subtle base i'm not going on heavy with this at all and i'm gonna be using the fenty beauty cream bronzer and this is in the shade butter biscuit so it's a fairly light shade and i did that on purpose i want it to be light because i want this to be light in general this is just gonna be like a blueprint of where we're gonna put our powders I'm going in super super light with this just to kind of warm up the face and kind of begin to sculpt but not really this is just like the first step and that's it I literally when I say light like I mean very light put a little bit on my forehead I do have a small forehead but I always do this just so that everything looks like cohesive and just looks like it all flows really well so I always bring bronzer to my forehead. A little bit on my nose. I just kind of do the tip. Just the tip. And then along my jawline. And then I'm just going to go back in with my beauty sponge and just make sure everything is blended out. No harsh lines. And make sure our concealer isn't creasing or anything. So now to set everything, I'm going to be using my Ilia Soft Focus Powder. I have been obsessed with this powder, you guys. And it's so funny because when I first got it, I hated it. And I think I used it. I applied it with like a brush and it just was not it for me. Then I applied it with a beauty sponge and instantly fell in love with it and this is now literally all that i use so now i'm just gonna go ahead and just make sure all the creases are out from under my eye that's the one thing about this concealer i'll say before you set it it's a creasing mess but once you set it you're good you're golden and just putting this powder everywhere that i applied that concealer so my forehead my nose and my chin and obviously my under eyes so now to set my whole face i'm going to be using my laura mercier translucent setting powder you guys this is like a little tiny one because i left my big one at my friend's house so this is what we're working with and i'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and dab up in there and i'm just going to pat this into my skin and just set everything and once we pat everything in then i'm gonna start just buffing out so i know everything is looking super matte right now but that's why i wanted to go in with all of that moisture and that beauty oil before we started because we will be using a lot of powders but don't worry we're going to be balancing everything out with setting sprays cream products powders all of that like we're mixing and it's gonna look good don't you worry so now for our bronzer i'm gonna be using hula by benefit and this is gonna be one of the first one of the bronzers that we're gonna be using because i do use a lot you guys for sure and then just using a little brush and kind of just start contouring I'm not going in too heavy with this because i'm mainly using this bronzer just to give me that like that ashy undertone but i will be going in with a more like terracotta shade bronzer so that can give me like the warmth that we're really trying to go for so i go in pretty light with this one so this is how i did my makeup when i was in florida not too long ago and i'm sure you know florida is fucking hot and it's so humid and i was there for my cousin's baby shower which was outside and it was like almost 90 degrees humid super super hot we're drinking like obviously you're gonna be sweating and i had my makeup on at least like eight hours and i'm telling you it looked so good and after like having it sweating all day i went out and got drinks afterwards and i didn't have to redo my makeup like i just touched it up a little bit and it stayed all day i didn't even have to touch it up when like throughout like the baby shower i only touched it up like when we were getting ready to go there was no like breaking up like it stayed and looked good all day long so 
I figured I would come back and show you guys a good like little sweat proof makeup routine um, because it really like it held up so well that I was like yeah I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to film this you guys know the drawer I'll bring that bronzer down on my jawline as well and I always kind of go upward just so it kind of like gives my face a little bit more color too so now for blush I'm gonna be using the Dior backstage rosy glow in the shade peach or no excuse me in the shade coral it's so beautiful this is like one of my favorite blushes in the summertime so I'm just gonna go ahead and go in heavy with that. I'm actually not gonna go in that heavy just because I've been trying not to do so much blush lately. I've been like looking back at pictures and I'm like, that's a lot of freaking blush. <laughs> so I'm trying to get better. And I always start off by patting on and then working my way back. And then of course, I can't forget the nose. I know that looks like crazy right now, but it all blends out together, I, I, I promise. Then going in with my Kat Von D shade and light palette, and I'm gonna be mixing these two shades right here, Lyric and or yeah, Lyric and Lucid, and I'm gonna be applying that directly under my eyes. Just again, it's gonna give us some more coverage. And this just makes my skin just look so poreless. It really locks everything in, so there's gonna be no breaking up at all. I like really like work it into my skin. And then again, forehead. Wherever we applied that concealer is where I'm going over. So now I'm just gonna go over that blush just a little bit because I feel like it started to fall flat. And now for one more bronzer, I'm gonna be using MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer. I love this bronzer in the summertime. It just gives me like that like bronzy goddess look and I love it so I'm just gonna go in with that like not that heavy because I already like where this is at I just want to add just a little bit of warm tones and I'm using a fluffy brush so I don't have a heavy hand so now I'm just gonna apply it some of that give me sun and apply it to my eyelids and I'm not doing anything crazy I'm just kind of going to throw just a little bit of color on my lids and kind of have that same technique of like contouring where I'm just going to sculpt out my brow bone and really define it and warm it up a little bit and that's it. I'm just applying it super messy and like no rhyme or reason. I'm just kind of focusing on that brow bone and that's really it. And then I'm just gonna put just a little bit on my lower lash line. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eye makeup and do my brows off camera and then I'll come back so we can go ahead and finish up this look and yeah, so I'll be right back. So I'm back. I went ahead and did my brows. I gave us a little wing moment, put on my lashes and now for the last steps. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. You guys, I went, this is literally my last bottle and it's almost empty. I went to Morphe the other day trying to get trying to restock because I always buy like a ton at a time and I go there and there's none I'm like are you guys sold out she's like oh no um we're reformulating and repackaging so they're not being sold right now I'm like reformulating what this stuff is amazing why would you want to do anything to it but I get it I mean there's always room for improvement but like this formula is amazing I swear to god if they do anything to mess with it I'm going to be really angry with Morphe but anyways, back to what I was saying. We're gonna go ahead and set our face. <laughs> Get my hair out of the way. Put that in. After doing that, I'm then gonna go in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and I'm really just going to be using this shade right here, which is Radiant Light because I do have somewhat of a tan on right now that's like coming like wiping off but I'm just gonna go ahead and generously apply that and starting with my forehead this is like the pre highlighter you know what I mean is there something to do that get rid of my baby hair is like something like a laser or something I think I might need that <laughs> 
Then taking Ice to buy Jaclyn Hill cosmetics, you guys. It's a sad day. I broke mine when on some trip. I don't know if it was my Florida trip or when I went to LA. One of them, I I shattered it. So that's just great. Actually, I didn't shatter it, but I broke it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little brush and get in there and put this on the bridge of my nose. And then taking ice and putting it just on the apples of my cheeks. And then, you guys, just because I'm super extra, I'm just going to go in with just a little more blush. Just a little bit because I actually really like where we're at. So just a little bit more blush just to go over what we just did. All right, and now for the lip, I'm just going to go ahead and take my chopstick off. And taking Morphe's lip liner in the shade Honeymoon, I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips. And for lipstick, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics in the shade Absolutely. This is her liquid lipstick. And just go over that. And then final step, I'm going to do just one more setting spray and it's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. My camera won't focus, it's okay. And this is just going to help keep your makeup on all day long. So again, get my hair out of the way. Actually, you know what? Because the setting spray is kind of what I'm going to use. Don't make fun of me, you guys. It's a little crazy, but it's okay. So go ahead and set this. And as you guys can see, I'm very generous with it. I, like I said, I'm going out to dinner tonight. Uh, today's my friend Adriana's birthday. So I'm taking her to dinner later tonight. And dinner's not till 8 p.m. And it's 3.30 right now. So I need my makeup to stay on all day. This is just going to make sure that it does. All right, you guys, so I am all done with this look. This is my take on a perfect summertime makeup tutorial, which is sweat proof, gonna last all day, and nothing is getting through this makeup. So I encourage you guys to give this routine a try. This is how I've been doing my makeup all summer long for the days where I want a good full beat, but I want to make sure it lasts and looks good in hot, sweaty, humid weather. It's going to stay. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.